Oopsies, I forgot to turn my damn mic on. Sorry, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Laura. Hi, Clint. How is everyone today? <coughs> so, I purchased some more SVG files for some shadow boxes. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. And I figured I'm going to make some more shadow boxes and maybe try to sell them on marketplace but i need more fairy lights <laughs> and um oh this coffee's hot and it's good i just made it good clint i'm glad you're doing good oh that's good so um i learned something from my niece because she's really famous at making um these shadow boxes and she told me a little trick taught me a little trick and she says gonna save you money so let me see if i have what i need or do i gotta dig more out yep i have one right here yep i'll probably need more but what are you doing in here Kedga? so anyways i told hey Hey! Where did you get that? Damn it, dog. That's all I needed you to shred my little phone thing. Thanks, Patsy, for knocking that on the floor, by the way. Anyway, we I told you guys yesterday that I had to go to um, my daughter's because... Good morning, Shatika. Good morning, Jan. That my daughter was making me and my other daughter a birthday supper because my birthday's on the 6th and my daughter's is on the 7th. And so she said, well, come for six and make sure you dress nice because I got a friend from work coming and she's going to take some family photos. And I thought, oh, man, I didn't really want to dress up and put makeup on because I hate wearing makeup. But anyway, I didn't put makeup on anyways. <laughs> but I did cut and dye my hair and I got all dressed up. And uh, Jeff and I went at six o'clock. Like I was told, and my daughter was outside um, having a smoke. So I said, okay, well, I'll have a smoke with you before we go in. And anyway, she put her cigarette out and she went in. And then she, Jeff walked in because he doesn't smoke. He went in and she's like, oh, Jeff, come on downstairs. So I thought, okay, well, we're having, she told us just use the front door. So I went in the front door and she said, well, come down here, mom, but be careful on the stairs because she's got really slippery stairs. Good morning, Nan. And I went down the stairs. I took my jacket off, put my slippers on, walked into her rec room. And lo and behold, I walked in there and all of a sudden, all these people yelled, surprise. Well, I'll tell you what. I was so shocked so surprised that all my family was there my sisters my brothers uh my niece and her husband and her son and all the grandchildren and it was just like this can't get any better so they had planned a surprise 60th birthday for me and i was like so blown away guys you should see the cake that they got made that cost my daughter a fortune to get made because it consisted of fondant and there was a lot of fondant on it but it was all quilting knitting buttons there was a cherry tomato i will show you guys because i kept these and i said to them <clears throat> i am going to um i'm going to mod podge these and anyway I got the most amazing gifts. I got a beautiful gift basket with, I got to show you the um, cutting boards my sister gave me, my younger sister. And my brother gave me a container full of coins. Oh my God. It was a collection of pennies, nickels, quarters, but the pennies are obsolete in Canada because Canada withdrew pennies years ago. So we don't have pennies here anymore. So I was super glad about that because I forgot to collect some pennies when they were removing them from circulation. Anyway, 
Um, I got this beautiful plant for my niece. It's called, I forget what it's called because my granddaughter got a hold of the little tag that was hanging off of it. <laughs> and I have no idea. But anyway, it's a waterless plant. It's got this beautiful red flower on it. Oh my goodness. It's just stunning. Uh, dinner was amazing. She made chicken, prime rib, mashed potatoes, corn, Caesar salad, shrimp, all kinds. Of, oh my God. It was just such a good meal. I was just so calm, so relaxed, just sitting there admiring because it's been a very long time that all of my family have been together since my mom and dad passed away. And just seeing all my sisters and my brothers and just having the people that I loved most um, there with me at my birthday, at my 60th birthday. It was just like, I, I can't even explain. I haven't even got words to explain the shock I was in. And they had apparently, oh, oh, and to boot, my daughter contacted Martha. Martha was on live chat with Di Di, Crystal. I, and my son was there. They were all on a iPad. All of them wishing me happy. But they knew all about this. I knew nothing about this. This was plastered all over Facebook, my daughter said. And she goes, and you never saw a damn thing. Ha, ha, ha. I was like, no, I didn't. That's because we blocked you from everything. They, said. <laughs> they didn't even tell Jeff. Jeff was just as surprised as I was because he had no idea that this party was going on. Oh my God. It was just unbelievable. So, you know, I had an invite, but I couldn't get in because of the hospital internet. Oh no, Debbie. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> but anyway, apparently I was live, but I don't see that video. Thank God. Um, anyway that was that was my evening it was absolutely the most beautiful thing and i cannot find the words to be thankful the way i because i have never had a surprise party for me and it was really beautiful the basement was set up so gorgeous apparently my daughter sent martha all the pictures of uh all the decorations um it was just amazing <laughs> So anyway, we got done that and it was getting late and I was getting exhausted and I wanted to go home and I wanted to go home to let the dogs out and stuff like that. Wow. I wished I never went home because of course I had <clears throat> the adrenaline of being so surprised and being around all my family. There was just like an adrenaline rush. Um, I got into my house. I had all <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Battery died. So anyway, I don't know how far up you heard, but I'll start again. Um, we left the party and I came home and I wished I didn't come home because, 
when I walked in the door, I was like the puppy greeted us at the gate because we have a gate across the, the stairs. And I'm like, how did you get out of your pen? And Jeff comes in the door just bringing stuff in. He's like, oh, you got out of your pen. Oh, my God, I knew you would. I was like, oh, he knew he was going to get out of her pen. But anyway, she got out. And then I'm looking. It was dim in my house because I just had Christmas lights on. So the ambience was very low. And I'm like, what is all over my kitchen floor? I'm looking. I'm trying to see. And I thought, okay. I got up the stairs. I turned on the light. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm going to die. Oh, my God. What happened? The dogs. Both of them. Oh, my God. They got into a 20-pound bag of flour. They shredded, literally shredded that bag. There was nothing left of the bag. There was flour everywhere on the kitchen floor. And I mean heaps and piles of flour. It Hi, Jimmy Bright. They came into the living room or into the hallway where the kitchen and hallway are. The bag of flour was in the living room hallway area, ripped to shreds with flour everywhere in the living room everywhere in the hallway to the bathroom and we have a dark brown bathroom floor while well, you could just see the footprints and and then they were jumping all over the couch having a great old time putting flour everywhere on the couches and getting i guess they were getting uh drinks because i guess the powder was getting up their nose so they got drinks and they ran up on the couch and wiped their face all over the couch with flour and water <laughs> oh my god our couches are dark brown they were completely white my quilt was white jeff's quilt was white everything was white with powder in the living room the kitchen and the hallway i just wanted to cry oh my god i couldn't even and jeff walks in and he's like oh i just can't be mad at you for that and i'm like are you kidding me i could just kill you <laughs> so it took us over an hour to get it sweeped up and man that was hard to sweep up because when you took a sweep with the broom and it had the flower on it when you went to a new spot it just dropped the flower back there like we were just playing with flour finally he got what he could scooped up and then we started vacuuming it up because it was in every single crevice of the grout that's on my kitchen floor it was in every crevice of the hardwood floor. It was a disaster. So we finally got that up. We got some nice, fresh, clean water. And Jeff mopped all of it as I was back. He was going behind me and mopping it. And then we got the couches cleaned. And then the, the puppies jumped up on the couch with me. And I felt their face. And I'm like, I just looked at Tiana. She had two big balls like this hanging off of her by her nose. I was like, oh, my God. They were covered in hardened balls of flour. So I had to take them. We had to take them in the kitchen sink. Jeff had to hold them down. I had to keep wetting their face and trying to pull all those balls of flour off their face without hurting them. And I'm sure I was hurting them because I felt so bad pulling it off. But, oh, my God. Every piece of their fur around their mouth and chin was covered in chunks of flour. They had a they had a blast. I'm sure they did. But then during the night, the puppy got sick and had diarrhea all over her pee pad. And then Tiana, I took her out at three o'clock this morning, and she had diarrhea. So the both dogs uh, did not <laughs> do well with eating flour. But anyway. I had so much adrenaline in me. I just couldn't get mad at them. I was not happy. I can tell you that. <laughs> I was not happy. Especially looking, walking in and looking at my brown couches. I was like, this is something you just see in a movie. This is not real. This is a joke. This can't be real. <laughs> but it was very real. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a disaster. I don't wish that on anybody. I don't know if any of you have seen that video. Um... <clears throat> the video where there's it's on YouTube, I believe. And these two little kids, two little boys got into a bag of flour and dumped it all over the place in their mom's living room on the pictures, on the lamps. I mean, 
that place was covered. I don't know if you've seen that. Well, that's basically what my living room looked like, except there was no flower on the pictures or anything, but there was flowers, flower everywhere else. So yeah, it was a, it was a nightmare. I'm just glad it's over with. <laughs> what a night. And that was flower cleaning night. Wow. Didn't expect to go home to that. I expected to go home to the puppy still locked in her pen and no, she found a way out. She pushed with her nose. She pushed the the pen so much till it left a little gap that she squeezed her little body through it and got out. She's a picker head. Okay. So as I was saying, um, I got some new designs. I bought some new designs. And I'm going to try them out. And they're cute because they're Grinch ones. I think they're Grinch ones. I think I bought them. I don't remember. Let me go check. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what I did? All right. Let's go to Etsy. <clears throat> right here. And go to my purchases. All right, so I bought this Magic Express. It's called a Wizard Train. This one's called the Christmas Cabin. I'm going to try that. That's this one. Isn't this stunning? Now, I'm not sure what the size of this, but it doesn't look like a square picture. And I'm kind of scared about that. So I'm going to resize it to an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, yeah, so... And I got this one here called Fisherman. I'm going to make this one. It's pretty plain. It's nothing too, too extravagant. But get out, Jeff. Grab her. Um, I'm going to take some of my other cutouts and put them in behind where there's a cabin and trees. I'm going to alter this one. As it's too plain for me. And this one here is called the fire truck. And that is definitely one I'm going to make. So this one is super cute. And this one here is called a light box SVG shadow box mega bundle. So I am going to download these files just to just, just to see um, what what they all are. So let's download these. I'm not sure what's all in here. And I'm going to create a new folder. It's just going to be a lot easier for me to um, to download all these files because I hate cleaning them off my desktop. I just dumped the files. Okay. So I didn't get the Grinch one. Did I? No. All right. Well, I know it's in my, it's in my cart. I'm sure it is. Oh, these are the bundles. No, shoot. It's not in my cart. Um, anyway, <clears throat> these are a shadow box with spacers. Do you see this? You could buy this and make the spacers all out of, but you need a glow forge. You seriously need a laser cutter because I don't have that. So uh, anyway, I'm not buying that. Um, there's the Grinch one. Oh, okay. So I, I've just saved them. So I'm going to move them to the cart. And... This one here is $15 for four Christmas sceneries, but I think I have enough for now. So, yeah, I'm going to save these ones for later. And I'm just going to purchase these ones.
So you, I got a shop discount because it's from somebody maybe I bought more from. I don't know. They're on sale. Okay, so it's best I grab these right now. Okay, so let me just stop sharing till I pay for this. So you guys don't see all my personal information. I mean, it shows some information with PayPal, so I don't know. Oh, my God. Jeff, can you bring me my phone on the couch there? I have to pay, uh, use a code. Because I never, I don't know why PayPal does this, but it's starting to piss me off. It says, log in with a one-time code. However, when you log in, it just, if you don't use PayPal on this computer, it makes you log in again with another code. To make sure it's you. They text you a code. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm logged in. Dorks. All right. So I'm going to download... And try to do, I love that Grinch one. The Grinch one is very, very pretty. But you see, you can mix and match your um, stuff. All right, so I'm just going to go back to, whoopsies, back to sharing screen. So you guys can see now. Okay, so I got my Grinch ones. And they're in here now. So, oh, jeez. i got to wait for those, the payment to go through, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to keep downloading files. Magic Express, that's the train. The train one is so beautiful. This Christmas cabin house, stunning. Uh, frame 8 by 10 inch. Oh, it is an 8 by 10. Okay. 8 frame, 8 by 10. I'm not. DXF file. Download this. And the fire truck and the instructions, I don't need. Okay. So, let's go to refresh. Here. All right, now they're ready for download. Uh, all together SVG. Jeez, I don't know what all these files, why, why they name shit like this, but it's in my thing, I hope. All right. Okay, let's go and open up this new folder. And let's do some unzipping. Where is that new folder? Right there. That one's done. We already did that. So you're going to extract them to wherever you want to extract them. Cabin house. Nope. I hit that by mistake. Desktop. Oh my God. 
Are you kidding me? Stink, stink, stunk. Is that not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> stink, stink, stunk. All right. So we just did that. Now let's do the fire truck. I'm going to just extract everything. Fisherman. I hate that pop-up shit. New folder. Okay. And the Grinch. Start that one. Grinch. That's going to keep popping up unless I buy this Winzip and I ain't playing it. Or Winrar. Uh, no. And no. And no. No to all. <sighs> okay. So they named this one the same. What's Wizard Express? Okay, so this one here, I'm just going to extract it to my desktop because I, it's not going to let me extract it there. So um, I'll extract it in something, cricket stuff. Oh my God. There we go. Okay. Now let's open Cricut Design Space and let's load all of these in here. Um, I wonder how many packages I have in here. Go check. Canvas. Upload. Upload. Browse. Let's go to desktop. Oh boy. Wow, I have a huge mess. Um, is it this one? We will see. Yep, this is the Grinch one. So you have to do each SVG by itself. Make sure you get all your files and put them in the order that they are. So if it says number four, number five, so on and so forth, make sure you do that. Wow, that's got a lot of beautiful cut cutting in it. That's going to be pretty.
This one has 10 pages, which is nice. Oh my God, look how they did the moon. Oh, I love that. And then that's just the back to hide your board. All right, so there's 10. Click on all of them. And we are going to add them to the canvas. <clears throat> Also, my niece told me to stop using a light grip mat for paper crafting. She's the one that told me you got to use a standard mat. It's stickier, and when it's cutting out the intricate stuff, it won't. Your needle won't uh, push the stuff over. So just uh, go to save, and we're going to save this. You're muted. You're muted. I know. I'm, I'm checking it. Uh, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. I lost what I was doing. Okay, so we saved that. Now we're just going to exit out and go back to upload. And let's go upload some more. Go back. New folder. Oh my God. Cabin, host, and forest. I want SVGs. Oh God, there's 12 of them. Okay, but this one here, I'm going to have to show you how to resize all of these to an eight by eight. So there's one, two. This one is very beautiful. So is the fire truck. So these are the th only three I'm going to do today. Probably only thing I'm going to have time for. This one, the Grinch one, and the fire truck. Okay, I forgot what number I'm on. <laughs> Five? Let's see. Check that. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. I did good. Five, six. I have a bit of a headache. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh my God, that cabin is stunning. Ten. Eleven and twelve. I think that's it, right? Let me just double check. That's it. Okay. So might as well do the fire truck while I'm here. Fire truck. SVGs. And this one has twelve as well. Okay, but I'm going to cancel this for now, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to upload this one. So this one had 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we're going to add this to Canvas. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup them. Now I'm going to highlight them all again. Actually, I'm going to shrink my screen down so I can see, make sure I've got them all here. And I'm going to go up here to align and I'm going to center all of them like so. So they're all centered. Now up here, I'm going to change that. I'm going to just copy this. 
Okay, never mind. I have to unlock it or it's going to change it for both. So I'm going to type in seven. Oops. Seven point nine nine two and hit enter. And it's going to resize this to there you go. Now each one of these should be all eight by eight now. You see? And it didn't distort it. It did not ruin it. It just made it an eight by eight. Okay. So now let's put these all back together. We're going to align them. Oopsies. Anyway. Now we will group them. So that's, uh, geez, come on. Now we're going to save it. And we're going to call this one Cottage, I think it was called. I don't remember. Mute it again. Why does it keep muting me, Jeff? I have no idea why it would keep doing it. Starting to piss me off. Okay, so I need to go ungroup these and see why this, oh my God, jeez, 7.992, they're all that size, right? Okay, I am not worried. All right, delete, go back to load. Now we're at the, no, it was a cabin. Now we'll go to the fire truck. SVG files. Start uploading these. One. Two. Three. All right. Six. Seven. I wish they would let you upload all of them at once, but they do not allow you to do that. 12. And that's the last one. One, yeah. two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Add to canvas. So this one is an eight by eight. I'm just gonna leave it alone. And I'm just gonna save it. And actually, I'm just that's gonna be. I'm going to print the Grinch one out first. And then we will get to. So I don't have to do anything with it. It's perfectly fine. Click save as. Fire truck. Save it. Now I move this down. Oh, you bitch. 
delete it. Oh my god. Was there still stuff on my canvas? Oh, I bet you there was. Let's, let's see if there's stuff on here that I didn't delete. Fire truck, 12 pages. Let's make sure there's nothing else on my canvas. Okay. That really is scary. Okay, they don't have these grouped. Okay, let's go open up the Grinch because I think this is going to be cute. Let's go to customize it. See if there's anything I need to do. And I really don't think I do. Go to make it. Oh, whoops. I need to turn my cricket <laughs> on. Oopsies. All right. And I'm going to grab my standard mat, since that's what my new set I have to use. So let's go find the standard. This is light, light, light. Standard graph. Right here. And then I have the strong grip, which I'm not going to use right now. I don't know, this mat looks pretty dirty. Okay, hopefully these cut in order. All right, let's go stop sharing. Let's go back here. All right. So this is a standard mat, and it doesn't feel very freaking sticky. It actually feels pretty dirty. So let me see if I can clean it off with this. If not, I'll use baby wipes. Hi, Linda. Oops. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this ain't going to work. <laughs> that was funny, eh? <laughs> okay. we got to use a baby wipe to get it back to its stickiness. Yeah, there's stuff all over it. Paper, flint, lint, all kinds of crap on it. Okie doke. Or I'll just go wash it with dish soap and dry it. That's it. Oh, <laughs> 
God has proven it all. Have to dry it in front of a fan, but if you wash it with soap and water, it goes right back to being sticky. See, well, I don't know, I could swear my light grip was stickier than this, it's still wet. Yeah, you gotta wait for this to dry <clears throat> in the meantime. While that's drying, I'm going to show you something now. These are coffee sticks. They just look like long popsicle sticks, right? Well, instead of using foam tape, my niece said to use popsicle sticks or coffee stir sticks. And don't glue the pages together. She said that it goes ripply if you glue the pages together. And she's kind of right. Because if you glue them together... I find it very difficult. So she said all she does is put a layer of score tape. She puts a popsicle stick as her frame. And then she just lays the layer right on top. And as she does that, let me just put this over here and let it dry. As she does that, she just drops it into the box like so. Okay, like that. And then she will score tape and put another layer on. She does this while it's in the, the box. I mean, I'm just sort of roughly doing this. And you stick it with score tape. And then you're going to drop your next layer on top, like so. You see how easy it is? And she said they just lay much nicer. So I agree with her that these do lay better if they're just not... Uh, glued. So that's what I'm going to try today. With the coffee stir sticks, we'll see how these work. I think they will. And I've got quarter inch uh, double sided adhesive here. So that's going to fit perfectly. So you put it on the stick, I think, just so it doesn't stick to your paper. So I got that. I am going to try my first one. Like I said, this is not as sticky and it's brand new. 
I don't find this as sticky. I don't know. We'll see once we stick paper on it, what it's going to do. We'll see if it's stickier. And I'm not going to change my needle because she said she cut 38, <clears throat> 38 <clears throat> shadow boxes, never changed her needle once. So I'm like, okay, then maybe I shouldn't have to change my needle. So I'm just going to check this out. We'll see how great this mat works. For cutting intricate. So I'm going to just get it to cut one intricate. Hmm. All right, so let me have a look at these. We'll see if it'll cut this one. All right, we'll see if it cuts it without making a mess of it. This I want to see. I can already see that it's doing shit job. I shouldn't have to ever change my needle. That's what they tell you. She's had a Cricut maker for over a year, has never changed her needle at all. Yeah, Nan, that was that was funny, wasn't it? <clears throat> okay, maybe it's not doing too bad of a job. Let's see. cutting out a, an intricate page so <clears throat> might take a minute Promising, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Oh, this one just says the Grinch. Thought it said stink, stink, stunk.
Wow. That is amazing. Absolutely. That absolutely worked. Wow, I could have kept this lettering, you know. What a dork. I could have kept it for some. Hi, Poppy. What happened to my stink, stink, stunk? I thought that's the one. Isn't that the one I uploaded, guys? Or am I imagining things? Let's go see which one it's going to print next. It should start at number one. Going to number four. Damn, where's my stink, stink, stonk? All right. Well, it's not doing it. Okay. So, while well, that is cutting out, I'm going to clean up. Get a box ready with the lights. Remember, you got to take this out. Jeff, can you bring me uh, the Windex, please? I took it out of here. So I just clean the inside, and once the piece is in here, that's when I clean the outside. It's just way easier because trying to clean it right now, huh, it looks like they stuck the gloss down, but it's not. Believe me, it's not. Thanks. If she did, she got out again. She's a little escape artist. clean this one. I don't know. The glass doesn't look like it wants to move out of it. I'm okay with that. That way I can see if it's clean <laughs> on both sides. Perfectly clean. Perfect. All right. Cut this page out. Let's get it off the board. Let's see. We did cut it pretty intricate here. Trying to avoid having to weed this, but I might have to weed it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, 
just a little piece there, little piece there. And the rest of it all came out. Wow. Okay. Perfectly. I'm going to start over here now. Oh no. Ah. I'm going to put that stuff out. layer of paper. Actually, I'm just going to use the paper, paper to separate these up over here. That way they're not in any of my ways. There. Now, let's do some lights. And these fairy lights are from Amazon.com. You get a box of 18, I don't know, for 20 bucks or something like that. And I always check to make sure they work. Ta-da! Yes, Debbie, I'm using 65-pound card stuff. Now, my niece also gave me another tip about keeping the lights at least an inch away from the border because you're wasting lights, she said. All right. Another piece is cut. Waiting to do there. And these are all good. Jeez, perfect. We'll drop that there. It skips the one I already printed, so I'm going to check in a minute. Before I actually press cut. 
I'll load my mat, mouse. Let's go see if it's going to skip to number four. It sure did. See, it remembers what it cut already. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. So I'm staying about an inch away from the edges, approximately. She said she hot glues her lights. Well, I don't really want to hot glue these. So I'm not hot gluing them. Trying to get some light in this area here. go in there look it okay so I have these in the wrong order so this is one page one and two this is page three which is the Grinch and this is page four Are you making? Oh, you already asked that. I already answered that. Just kind of trying to put lights where I don't see any. Especially up here where his hand is.
You just put the lights where you see fit. Turn them on and have a look. See how good we did. I think that looks pretty good. So, <coughs> take our first page, flip it over, let's grab our popsicle stick. And there's four teeth. Good morning, Martha. Good morning. All right. Oops. How's everybody today? Actually, these fit perfectly. So. Well, are you making a different light box? I'm doing the Grinch right now oh sweet i haven't seen that one i don't think it is super cute okay so put this over there take this one out hey nan hi debbie Hey, Linda T. Oh. oh my gosh, it cut the fence out so perfectly. I have a fire truck I'm going to do today. This one and a cabin in the woods, I think it's called. Oh. Cabin in the woods would be cool, but I like the Grinch too, though. So, yeah, well, I got two Grinch ones and I cut the wrong one out. I wanted to cut the one out that said stink, stink, stunk. Uh huh. So, I'll cut that one out later. I have no energy today to even do this front room. Why? I don't know. Just. But anywho, 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 so I have a bit of weeding. Martha Lou Who, Cindy Lou Who, Ruby Lou Who, uh -huh. Ruby Doo Who, Ruby Dooby Who, yeah. Okay. Yes. 
but I do have the trees to poke out a little bit. A little bit of poking out in the trees. Dang it. I can't do it right now because it's in there. Okay, so let's do four of these. Oh. Let's make a frame. So what's with the coffee stirs? These are I'm using instead of foam. Good deal. Yep, my niece told me to do this. Morning, Donna. Hi, Donna. just going to keep all of this together because is this the right way? No. Is this the right way? Yes. Oh. What? No. So if anybody has missed yesterday's Ruby's surprise birthday. Go take a look at that. Where is that? Because I didn't find it. It's on my sh my panel, my channel. Oh, I went to your thing and I could not find it. Well, it didn't say happy birthday, Ruby. It said shaker card or shaker ornament. No, it didn't. No, I just pasted it. That's Jeff. I went there and it showed me a video that you had done two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's right that there. Shaker original. ornament. Hmm. All right. So I believe that. Is Should I just paste it onto your <laughs> crafting page? Sure. Sure, she says. Sure, she says. Sure. I need my weeding tool to weed this out so I can keep these things in order. Yeah, because you got to check out the... Okay, it's on your page. All right, that is. Where right. am I at? Right. I gotta go get my butt dressed. Okay. So, Donna was asking, how was your party dinner last night, Ruby? It was over the moon. Beautiful. Over the moon. Yeah, Cassie had sent me pictures of uh, how they decorated. That's pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> God, Sean come in and it's like, who in the heck is a God Almighty? <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even think of Sean. <laughs> he just gave us some dirty looks and, ooh, baby, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, God Almighty. <laughs> oh, actually, it's the Almighty God. Is that what it said? Yeah. 
Oh, so who in the hell is Almighty God? <laughs> he just kept looking at us during as he was making his stuff, and and then Cassie come on and said, "Sure," and it's like, "Oh Jesus, Martha!" I told him, I said, "It's been so long since I seen him," and I forgot what he looked like. <laughs> <clears throat> Yep, he is the almighty God, all right. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Usually I'm oh. doing the surprise parties, but my kids really got me this time. Yeah, didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay, why? Doesn't this look great? Oh, yeah. oh, it is right. Oh, my goodness. That is adorbs. Adorbs. Check my weather. See what the weather's like today. Oh. We have a weather statement out for a snowstorm coming. Well, by the map, it goes all the way from Minnesota all the way up to Seattle. Yep. Isn't that all a the way across the top of the states. It's 38 degrees right now. Oh, it's really cold here. Very windy. High at 39. Oops, it keeps wanting 48. to snow a little bit, but the storm is supposed to start tomorrow morning. So. Yeah, ours is rain and snow after likely after 1 p.m. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. One. Okay, so we got forty-eight, thirty-seven, twenty-five. Tuesday, ooh, twenty-nine. Yeah. I got my milk. I can hibernate for a week. <coughs> so what's going on with Ollie? Don't know why. Well, I sent her the link. She didn't show up. I don't know. Haven't heard from her today. When I don't hear from her for one day, I probably won't hear from her for, I don't know, a couple weeks now. <coughs> <clears throat> Not sure how much I'm going to like it this way because I just don't want these pages shifting in the shadow box. Well, as long as they're stuck to each side, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Are they eight inches long? Yeah, they're eight by eight. this works now if you don't have coffee sticks you can use popsicle sticks Popsicle sticks are like twice as I'm, thick. Not really. They're pretty thin. Like Popsicle the, sticks? Yeah. No. They're not as thick. They're not that thick. I mean, they're still about a sixteenth of an inch thick. And that's what you want. No more than that. Oh, yeah. But they're short. You put two in. True.
Oh, that's cutting some intricate things. I think it's the Christmas trees in the background. Evergreen? <coughs> I shall be back. I've got to go get my butt dressed. Okay. Go get dressed. works she uses straws with double-sided tape plastic little plastic straws the only plastic straws I have are colored ones and they're too thick that is not going to work she also uses Ikea's uh, shadow boxes Let's see how many sets I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not enough. I think I need nine. Maybe not. Maybe I only need five. I think there's only ten pages. Oh well, this will be for the next one. For now, right? Stink, 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 eh? Need to move you guys. Get off. See how these could shift back and forth? That's what worries me. That's why I stabilized them. Oh. 
I don't know. We'll see. Morning, Sandra. Oh my goodness. Wow. Nice page. This one is nice cut out. Oh, it's an intricate in this one for sure. Very intricate. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> wow. pages are left. Let's have a look. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you. 
I think this looks good. So, this one's going to go here. Wow, look at how pretty. Oh, oopsies. Where's the house one? There should be another house one. With a taller house. A taller backing. Is that the one I just put in here? <laughs> it is. Wrong one. Whoa. This goes this way. And it goes. Goes behind this one. So not sure how I did that, but anyway. That is how it goes. Cool. Okay. Yeah? Looking good? Yeah. Hi, Sandra. It's so hard to just grab one. Actually, this frame, this wooden frame, gives it a whole lot of stability. Easier to pick up and deal with. Not a surprise that you're in here. Did you manage to get the dough out of them? A lot of it, yes. Just very tiny little pieces now everywhere on them. Got a lot, all the stuff off their face. Oops, I had a feeling that was going to do that. Oopsies. Just got to be patient, Rubes. Yep. Patience is a virtue. My beads aren't going to come off nicely. Oh, shit. Oh, Lots of stars. Oops. Jeez. Dang it. Oh, that was a nightmare. Need a circle for anything? Stink, stink, stunk. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, two more. This 
one and one more. Um, I'm going to unload that. I don't know how that is. Um, there. Much straighter. No, I've got a lot of poking to do here. Lots of poking. Well, I do have to say it does cut better on a standard mat, not light grip. More intricate stuff out. Yay. All right. How's that? Looks pretty good. Looks like a moon. Looks like a big ass moon. Yeah, a big one. A big ass moon. I can't believe how big the Chase and Raina. I loved her little pigtails. Aren't those adorable? <laughs> oh my God, her hair's growed. She's oh, yeah. growed. Yeah, they don't stay small forever, do they? No, they don't. When's the last time I seen her? Like just a couple weeks ago or so? Yeah. Wow. Now, I really love how they did the moon in this. I really, really love it. I know she's not good. She's such a good girl. I said hi to her. There's the bad dog. <laughs> There's the flower babies. Ruby showed us a picture of the couch with all the flower on it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nothing. That is nothing compared to what they did. Oh, I can imagine. That was just small. But of course, they're in a 20 pound bag of flour. Yeah, but it was only half full. Where was it sitting? Where was it? I always kept it on the floor because it was too big for the cupboard. Big 20-pound bag of flour. I just kept filling up my container. I had it beside the fridge. Oh. Yeah. God. Yeah. That's why sometimes they say you got to dog-proof the house. Yeah, Heck with the kids. <laughs> yeah. That was a little dingy there. 
That is pretty cool how they've done the moon. Now is it this way? Oh, oh I this gotta way. get the lions out of here. It was this way. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to see. Ugh. Okay, one more page, and I think it's a very simple one to cover up the back. So it's not exposing any of the backing. Well, the best thing is, is to go look on the cricket to see which part, how it cut it out. So it went, I didn't have it right. It goes this way. There we go. That looks better too. All right. No, don't break it. This is the last page. Take a little break. I gotta get up. I'll be right back, guys. Cooked out already. Dang it. Yay for the sister, Sandra. Does she live in California, too? Oh, my God. This poor computer is so filthy. Needs a good bath. I'm 
neighbors are coming over today to help me move furniture around and hopefully we're going to put wheels on that table or the tv stand Now I gotta go grab the vacuum, get that emptied out. Crap. A lot of work. I used to change my furniture around twice a year. Come on! Come on! Sorry to hear you at first. No, what's up? I'm sure to help you out. Okay, people, I gotta go. See you later. Bye.
Sorry, where did Martha go? All right, I will show you. First of all, I need to take this. Oh, God, it's so big, it's stuck in my throat. They made me wear this. <laughs> that says... It says, 60 looks good on me. And everything was purple. Everything. The plates, the balloons. These were some of the beautiful cards I got says thinking of you on your birthday that was from ornella and jerry my ex-husband and his girlfriend they were there and this one's so cute oh that's my daughter's card how did i get that <laughs> that's her christmas card how did i get that this one is so pretty from my sister my younger sister She's got a whole bunch of stuff written in here. Happy 60th. And this one is from my brother, which I just thought was the bomb. 60 is whatever you want it to be. Look at this. And it's actually a Hallmark card. Happy birthday, sister. Love you. Cheers. <laughs> I just thought that was adorable. Then they bought me a bottle of rum, which I couldn't drink because they had no Pepsi. And I don't drink it rum with anything but Pepsi. Jeff tried to make me a ginger ale. This was wrapped around <laughs> the rum. It was free. It's called Ugly Sweater Socks. <laughs> and they were wrapped in a ball like this on top of the bottle of rum. They were ugly. Um, here are the fondant pieces. That I'm going to Mod Podge that were on my cake. Let me just move this out of the way because it's so heavy. So this was a pin, pin cushion, <laughs> the cherry pin cushion. Honest to God, I don't know what's inside of it, but it's still very soft and I'm going to wait for the fondant to harden. These were balls of yarn that were on top with a set of knitting needles that were crisscrossed on it. These are all um, spools of thread in all different colors. So I am gonna wipe the icing off of them and I am gonna Mod Podge them. And these are, this was um, a measuring tape that was all rolled up, but it broke. cock a -poo it kind of broke. It went like this. So I'll just glue it back to, together with some alcohol. So it was a little rolled up measuring tape. But these buttons were the bomb. The buttons were everywhere on my cake. Everywhere. Just buttons galore everywhere on the cake. All different size buttons. So freaking cute. It was amazing. This cake was just the bomb. And you should have seen the quilt that they laid over top of it. it was just unbelievable. So those are definitely going to get Mod Podged. But i got to wait for the fondant. I don't know what's inside of these. I'm tempted to try to pull this fondant off to see if there's more food inside. Oh, it's another big ball of fondant. I don't know. It's pretty lightweight. They got a pearl spray on them. They're so pretty. Anyway, can't figure it out. But this here blew me away and it had 60 written on it. <laughs> I just can't get over this pin cushion. <laughs> Look at how wonderful of a job she did. Just blow me away. Then when you walked in, it had a, a wall with all my pictures done on purple cardstock. 
and I'll just show you the some of them. Some of them she took because there were these are copies. So that's mine and Jeff's wedding picture. That's me with my two daughters many, many years ago. That's me with Maya when she was very, very little. And I believe it, yep, this was the year after my mom passed away. This was at my daughter's wedding, not hers, but the younger daughters. That's my older daughter. This is an embarrassment because me and Jeff went to his 40th birthday and I went, um, <laughs> I went quad running. That's me and Jeff at my uh, daughter's wedding. She had a Halloween theme wedding. This is at my daughter's wedding. This is the one that uh, of me and Cassie. That's a picture of me and Jeff when we were in Vegas. That's a picture of wedding day. That's a picture of my three kids. This is a picture of all the people that were at my birthday, except for this one. He didn't, he wasn't able to come. So that's all my family that lives here. My younger sister, Patsy, my brother, Charles. This is the one that wasn't there. And my brother, Pat. These two are twins. They, they took all these pictures. I don't know where they got all of them from. That's me and Tia. She loved to sit on the back of my neck. That was me at one Halloween. I went to a Halloween party. This one here is awful. Ugh. That's one with me, Patsy, and my girls. This was the year my mom died. That picture is so ugly. This was me with the girls in the swimming pool at my daughter's. <laughs> That's when I got drunk. <laughs> Um, that is of me and Cassie. That is me. That's a picture of me and Jeff. Me and me and Miku. They had all these pictures on a whole wall, all backed, but there was a lot more. There was like double this amount. All filled the whole wall of pictures of me even when I was really young, but my daughter took them because they were all originals. So she, these were copies that she got done, but the originals she kept. So yeah, I couldn't take those. She wouldn't let me, <laughs> bitch. There were some there when I was very, very young and Cassie's husband, Scott says, you were beautiful when you were young. <laughs> I said, now you know where my daughter got her looks when she's young. <laughs> Wait till she gets my age. <laughs> That's what he said to me. I said, oh, you're just saying that to make me feel good, Scotch. All right, so I'm going to start cutting out another one. <laughs> Thanks, Nan. It was amazing, guys. It was absolutely amazing. Um, just to see all the, the extent of what they went through just to have that party for me. So... And the decorations were just amazing. They had a whole wall. Uh, what do you call those things? Um, oh, what do you call Like a, an arbor, you know, of balloons, all different color purples, a big 60 on glue to, attached to them. I just, oh my God. I just can't even um, stress how amazing this birthday party was i just can't it was just it just made my heart so happy to see all my family together especially considering not any of us have been together that close oh i think once since my parents passed away so i think my mother was the rock of the family that kept held our family together and now that they both have passed We've all kind of gone our own ways. We don't get together like we used to. I mean, COVID hit too, but before that, we still weren't getting together for all our family dinners. It was mainly just, you know, our own little family kind of thing. It's kind of heartbreaking because 
I'm pretty sure my mom wouldn't appreciate that we all uh, stopped having our family gatherings when she passed. So not much we can do about it. What it is what it is. But I'll tell you, I was very happy to have what family I had there yesterday. And I had no idea that any of this was going on. So it was honestly a huge surprise and a big lie. <laughs> my girls lied right to my face. <laughs> oh my God. We're getting family photos and she tells me to make sure I dress up <laughs> and not come in my pajamas. Because normally I would have. <laughs> I would have just went in my long pajamas. I would have been comfortable like that. But yeah, she said, don't come in your pajamas. I'm getting family photos done. <laughs> she wasn't getting family photos. It was a big fat lie. All right. So we will start with our first one in here. Laid in there. Now we'll take the second one and we will put our popsicle sticks on it or whatever sticks you want to call these. Take that off. Get off. So the one I'm cutting out now is the one that I resized from an 8x10 to an 8x8, basically. Let's hope it fits in these frames. So when you do this, you just apparently, she said, just put the, she told me to put the sticks on one side instead of the foam and don't stick them together. So trying to follow what she said, but I don't know. These don't fit 100% perfectly eight by eight. So we'll see. All right. So we're supposed to just drop that in there. So just in layers. So see if this works. Yes, it was a great line. <laughs> it was worth it. My younger sister says, and this was plastered all over Facebook and you didn't see. No, 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 no. We blocked you from everything. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and my youngest daughter, Cassie, contacted Martha to get my online friends to come in for my surprise birthday. So that was just bloody amazing. They know, my kids know how much I hang out with Martha and Olivia and, and Yvonne and Crystal and all them. We all hang out, you know, and it was, it was amazing. And my, when I got in and Cassie's like, oh, and all your friends for, are live here with you. I was like, where? They're on an iPad in, the, in there. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Blow me away. All right. So, ooh, hope this fits. I'm going to try it in the light box or shadow box before anything. these off really carefully. So what I'm going to do, because I kind of get a little bit confused, so I'm going to grab a pencil here and on the backs of them, I'm going to write page one. So let me see if it's actually going to fit in here, if I sized it properly. Actually, it's better than the other one. Fits perfectly. Okay. Phew. That's awesome sauce. All right. We are on a roll. Let's 
Thank you. Hi, Teresa. Thank you, Shirley. It was nice. I wish all of you could have been there. But, but I mean, just having you guys there virtually online, it was amazing how my daughter even went to that extent to get my online friends. So you guys know how, how important you are all to me. She tried to reach out to as many people online that she knew that I hung out with. <laughs> <laughs> and she knew Martha would be able to because Martha and I were always in chat so she knew Martha was going to be able to get a hold of most of the people so <laughs> it was too cute all right yes it was a blessing I am forever forever grateful for that I really am Nobody's ever done that for me. I remember many, many years ago, my younger sister who turned 40, when she turned 40, my mom had a big surprise party for her. When I turned 40, nobody had a surprise party for me. And I was kind of heartbroken <laughs> that my mom did that. I was kind of mad because she was the youngest. I guess she got the surprise birthday but i still went i mean i didn't put up a fuss or anything like that i was just kind of hurt that uh when i turned 40 and she's five years young five years younger so i'd have been 45 then i was kind of hurt but i still went like a good girl i didn't let jealousy Stop me from having a good time with family, of course. It was a nice birthday too, so it was. So this 60th birthday, having a big surprise like that was really. And here Martha says, Oh yeah, I was whispering to people on your on your live show yesterday. <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, Nan. 30 for the second time is right. But I'd have to disagree because I'm 39 and I just had an anniversary. So, you know, I was just celebrating my anniversary of being 39 again. All right, so this one was already done. See, I'm a little bit, see how things are not lining up? I'm a little concerned with that. I am. But it does wait, make it way nicer. I wonder if I could just tack them down with a little bit of glue. I don't know. Because I'm not liking how they're shifting back and forth. And these fingers and everything, like this stuff here, needs to line up, precisely line up. So if maybe I tack the paper down a little, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. But it sure is, sure is not going to be nice if it's just going to shift around. It's going to suck. around probably not um, I think so okay.
This is the last one I have to put sticks on. And we'll check it out. Oh, I hope that doesn't go over. Must be cutting out a very intricate page. That page could sound like it's going to take a while to print or cut, sorry. All right. There's that. There's that. Now, let's see. Oh, my goodness. That's freaking adorable. But. See, they're not, uh, the sides are not lining up the way I want them to. They're, they're not even. So I'm just wondering, maybe I should just tack them all down here at the bottom and not anywhere else. Just to make sure they line up. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I better do that. Because this is going to bug me if it doesn't stay nice. See, the frames should all be matched up. Or is that the way they're cut? Hmm. All right, I'm just going to tack it down with a wee tiny bit of glue. I'm just going to put a wee bit of glue on these, and I'm just going to tack them at the bottom so they don't shift. the hand I want the hand to be lined up perfectly before I squish that down that looks good right there
is so cute, guys. So adorable. Oopsies. I thought that didn't look right. Now the hose is lined up perfect. Just pinch this here and hold it. See, even you agree, man? Yeah, because for me, these are just like a hair that move around inside of the box. They're not exactly eight by eight. They're just a hair, like a hair under. So some pages are able to shift and we don't want that. at all. This is amazing. Very pretty. I should have colored his fingers that slimy green. I still can. I'd have to just put a piece of paper behind all the other ones. So this one needs to shift over a tiny bit. That moon is bloody amazing. Honest to God. Last one. worked up perfectly. All right. I feel way better about that. Way, way better. Now, I need to kind of see where the moon is so I can color that in yellow. So let's turn this on so I can see where the moon is. So one, two, three, those three lights there. Yep, I see them. So they are a different color. See? Thank you, Dan. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. 
So I'm going to find a lime green, the color of the Grinch. I'm going to color that. I'm going to color this in red and color that in black just to put some color on this. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Oops, let's turn out these lights. Don't want to burn them out. Okay, so we're going to dump it out. Now I'm going to see if any of my markers here have a lime green. A grinchy green. Yes, this one might do the trick. Kind of white. Looks yellow. Not even green. Oops. This looks more green. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a piece of paper. And I'm just going to lift this up. And I'm going to put it underneath, like so. And I'm going to color this very carefully. Now, we're adding some color. Wow. I don't know, I just think it makes these shadow boxes if you add some color. This has a lot of water in it. These markers. And I don't know if that's what you would call alcohol. But it's shredding the paper. Hmm. Crappy, crappy markers. Where's the lid? Piece of crap. Give me. Give me. All right. Let's see if I can brush off these fibers. Thank God. Now I'm going to color it with this. But this is so wet, I need to dry it. Isn't that sad?
and like literally wet the paper. So I'm gonna let it dry. While it's drying, I need to go to this layer here. To color this in. Right to there. Okay, so. Now these are real alcohol markers. They don't do that. And you got to make sure you get around the edges so it doesn't show through. Hi, Tessa. A little bit of intricate coloring here, but you've got to make sure you hit those edges so the white doesn't show. Yeah, Tessa's in here, and she's chewing on something. She opens the gate with a little shit. She was in here. Get it on. 
think so. Nope, I missed a spot. <laughs> Get the little one right there. There we go. Now I'm going to recolor this with this green here. Because that one was shitty. And it made it look um, like it's water paint. Did a really crappy job with that green, that yellow green. But I think it's a better color. them way better oh my god There. What do you think? All right. Okay, let's try it in the box now. These things didn't work. They're not alcohol. They're water-based. Garbage.
There we go. Isn't that adorable? All right. I love it. So we did the Grinch. That is Sweet Mary. All right. This one is done. Looks like it's my needle might. Oh my God. Oh, okay. I was going to say, where's the border? Oh my God, it did a lot of intricate in this. Yikes. Be gentle. Holy macaroni. <laughs> she opened the gate again. <laughs> she had a little shit. Oh my goodness. This was a lot of intricate in here. Lots and lots. Oh my God. I ripped my tree. See? Lots to glue it. It's just getting this thing underneath all this. Holy macaroni. So where did this rip? Where did it rip? Got that. Got that. I don't even think you can tell that one ripped. Huh. Yeah, I see where the tree broke there. Oh my god, I can't even get this underneath it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, what is this piece here? Why is it cut there, though? I'm not getting this part. Oh, well. Anyway. Whew. I think it goes like that. Holy cow, look at this. Oh, it's a nightmare got to be weeded big time what have you got Tessa, here. 
Good Jeff, you better come and get her. She's finding stuff on my floor and eating it. She just had a leaf. Not sure where she found that, but dogs will find everything. Time. Lots of weeding. I'm not sure why it sliced it across here. I don't get it. And no cut lines here. This is all part of it. But it sliced it here, see? I'm not sure why it did that, but... pieces don't come out they're not completely cut right through and you got to kind of help them along yeah so that was not supposed to be cut there and i don't know why didn't cut, geez. 
just makes the weaving a little bit more difficult, but it can be done. Flick them off. You have to cut them and cut them with a pair of snips. Had to do that a few times. Supposed to be getting my grace today from my hand. God, I hope it comes. Come on, get off. Well, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Oops. I'm just going to snip that with my snips. That is how intricate this one. Oops. I see something here right there. That is how intricate that was, guys. Look. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to give it a little brushing. this peach too. Let's have a look at these flowers. Oh yeah, that's going to be gorgeous, guys. Ooh, stunning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take the Grinch and then I'm going to take a picture and show you guys it. You like to see it, guys? Put it up as soon as I put another page in. Oh, really? Oh, god, really? Yep, another one, you guys. This one isn't half as bad as the last one.
Cool. All right, I'm going to throw this one on and I'll go take a picture of the branch. Let's see little bits of paper on my mat. No good. quickly. Wow. Like if you saw this up close, you'd be shocked at what this cricket just cut out. Seriously. Instead of trying to pull that, I'm just going to snip it. little pieces just like to get stuck and not get cut they're so tiny here we go this one is kind of messed up Look at what that just cut out. <laughs> hey, Tracy, hi.
This was a quicker one. Mm -hmm. All right, that was beautiful. one here doesn't have much just a couple of cut lines didn't really do a good job of cutting them but the rest of it is the bottom This is kind of very thin here. Sure, take a little break for a minute and I'll be right back. I might work at those next on the next one. I try to cut out. Oh my goodness. Oh, it feels good to have to stand up. Ow. Oh. Take a picture of the grapes.
okay i tried so many different places in my living room it's like oh my god it's not showing up so i thought oh i'll go in my bedroom where it's really dark and snap a picture of it and that is what it looks like what do you think What do you guys think? Isn't that gorgeous? I think it is. All right. Back to the drawing board. This is a not too, too bad of one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I need to clean my spatula. Okay. Oh, it goes. That's the right way. You guys like that one, the Grinch? Yeah, Cricut does cut with very fine detail. You will, I've never gotten this with my scan and cut. My scan and cut always wrecked everything I made. I stopped using it. Even brand new needles, brand new mats, nothing worked. It's just crappy. So I just gave up on it. There we go. Done. So this one goes this way and it's page five. I still see a piece right here. It needs to be snipped. But this snips. There. And there. Good. Page five. Okay. Nobody likes the Grinch. Another easy peasy one. talking. 
What's going on? Last thing I see is take a break, Ruby. That's all I see. get the sticky off this because it makes it hard to pull the page off. Clean and off this. Donna. I'm doing a fire truck. This one is a cabin in the woods. It's bloody amazing, this one. Oh my god. This one I'm super pumped about. And the, and the fire truck. When I gotta clean the outside after after it's done. Now fire the lights on. They're going to be to sell in Marketplace. I had somebody ask me for them. So. Trying to stay inch away, like she said, half inch to an inch. She said so because she said you need to focus on the middle where all the dark spots are, where it's got extra layers of paper. So that kind of makes sense, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. Focus on those. Where there is none.
Um, marketplace is Facebook. Um, anybody can sell and buy on Marketplace. Like I would make more, but this is the last of my light. I have three sets left, so I have to wait till my lights come in. I don't even know if I don't even know if Amazon shipped them yet. So they're coming from Amazon.com, which takes a little longer than regular Amazon in Canada. You are welcome, Anna. Oopsies. You don't want to cover up the light. Oops. There we go. There. Make sure everything is pushed down. Fire it up and look. Not too bad. So that's ready to go with the Backing. All right, let's see what you did today. Oh, brother. More trees. More trees. Lots of more trees. Gosh. Wow. Well, that plucked out very nicely. This is going to be gorgeous. And this is the one I resized. Because it was 8 by 10. 
and I don't have eight by 10 shadow boxes. Oh, I broke the tip off that. Push too hard. Come on, lift up. Wow, those birch trees are amazing. Just going to have a little check of the needle, make sure there's nothing clogged on it. Looks good, but I think I'll jab it in my thing here for a bit. Get it sharpened again. And this tends to hurt me, so I just like to jab it myself. They say to do it about 50 times. So I don't know if I've done it 50 times or not, and I wasn't counting. times it's good okay. okay some weeding to do in this one pieces on the back. It's supposed to have cut out from it. These look like real damn birch trees. You're welcome, Teresa. It's not my tip. I learned it. Actually, a lot of people will recommend you sharpening your needle with just a, a tinfoil ball. And honest to God, there I've seen it on several YouTube videos, different people. rip that. I think I'm going to call that one done. Looks good. Like seriously, look at these birch trees. 
they honestly look like birch trees. Don't they? <laughs> That's okay, Teresa. I know who you learned it from. I learned it from Jennifer Maker. But then after watching her, I've watched several other people and they're like, oh, and you just use a tinfoil ball to sharpen your needle. My niece, that's what she did too. She was like, I just use a tinfoil ball. I said, oh, yeah, I've seen a million YouTubers do that, <laughs> including myself now, instead of wasting needles. So this is number seven. All right, so that's page one, page two, page three, page four, page five. Let me go see how many pages there is. Five. There is 12. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So we will score tape these while well, we wait for that to finish. So I don't think there's anything I really want to color in this one because there's no color really other than trees and, and a cabin. So I really don't know what what I would want to color in. We'll have a look, see and see. But there's a lot of nature in this one. <laughs> I hope I have enough sticks to left to do the fire trucks. I gotta get some more from the buck store. That's the last of my stir sticks. Lost my chat.
this is a really good idea to use this because I don't have any foam tape left. I ordered more, but that's definitely not here and it's not coming, it says, till December 10th through the 21st. <laughs> okay. So I'll probably see it on the 21st and I don't need it. Yeah, they really do, Teresa. They work way better. These, they, you saw how wonderful they worked for building the layers between the Grinch. That turned out super darling. Another very intricate one. My God, guys, I had a super bad dream this morning. Oh my God. I don't even know where this was coming from. But oh my God, it's still stuck in my freaking head. I can't seem to get it out. Yeah, seriously, stuck in my head. Oh, wow. This is a big Kind of made a little bit of a mess right there. I don't know why. I just sharpened my effing needle. Why did it cut it up like that? Stupid thing. Why did it do that? Yeah, this is definitely a bar. What is attached? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's something else. Of course, something fell on the floor. Wow. 
That's very, very intricate, that one. Shit. Didn't cut it very good. Might have to put a new needle in. Maybe I dulled it. <laughs> I don't know. Where did he even start? This looks like a chimney in a barn. Do they have chimneys in barns? I don't think so. What a mess it made of this. What the frick is this? Just a bunch of ripped paper. Damn. Oh. I might have to recut this one. Because this looks like hell. Like that made it look awful. All it is is scribble. How this cut. Yeah, that's that's a mess. And with this piece is missing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this and put a new needle in. That one's no good. It's got too many ripped spots in it, and it looks awful. So, carry on. Hi, sister. all of that one too. I should just cancel them. It's not doing a good job now.
Yes, I did, sister. It's more than you can imagine until I got home. <laughs> until I got home, I wanted to cry. I really did. I have those, sister. All right. Oopsies. I'm gonna start sticking these on. Yeah, I was very shocked. I was throwing right off. I really was. I really was. Let's see if this one needs to be redone too. Because it don't look so great either. Oish. We shall see. We shall see. Doesn't look the greatest. Those windows being all cut out. Oh my word. just do some weeding on this. So this is page 789. This is page 9. I have to redo 8. change my needle because <coughs> I'm not keeping this one. There 
Oh no. Shit, I forgot to change it to recut the other one. Oh well, idiot. To recut eight or seven, nine, I don't know, seven, eight. Yes, she uses she uses Walmart paper. I am using expensive paper. It's not ripping because of that. Cause she gets it for a good price at Walmart. I've never seen store but she makes 12 by 12s she has to have she makes 10 by 10 ones so she has to have 12 by 12 sheets she has to have the bigger card stocks one wish me luck because this looks like an effing nightmare well, they cut all the windows out cool let's get a pluck the paper out I was shocked to see Charlie there. He must have drove down from Nipigan. That was amazing. Yeah, I know, Patsy. So, I don't know why mine's being crap. She told me to use a standard mat, and I did. And it's still tearing.
Wow. This one's kind of a pain in the ass with all these windows. Jeez. The other one's done and I'm not finished weeding this pecker head. Get out. Okay, this is the last little bit. I'm not enjoying this one at all. Please tell me I'm done. Please. There's two little dots here that don't want to come out. There we go. In there. Holy cow. Talk about intricate. Like, seriously? This one here is being a bitch. And it's very noticeable.
Wow. Look at what I had to weed out of that. You see it? <laughs> That's a lot of friggin' windows. This is page nine. But I'm going to regret cutting that one that it's cutting out right now. It's so intricate. <laughs> I can hear it. Why isn't this cutting nice? What is the effing problem? Look at it. It just ripped it all up. Damn. What the frick? Look at this. Oh, fuck it. Full thing off. Throw it in the garbage. No good. I'm getting a different mat. Because this one's pissing me off. This one is no good. I'm going to go get my one that I made super sticky. This sucks. I'm not going to sit here all day cutting up repeatedly pictures. Like it literally ripped it. A brand new needle. It's kind of frustrating because that's two very intricate pages. What page was that it just cut? Page 11. I needed to cut page 8 and 11 again. So let's go get a super sticky mat. I'm not going to use stronger because that I might regret.
says light grip, but believe me, it's not. Let's try this. Let me check to make sure there's no paper cut on the needle. There's not. Okay. Now, no, I'm not changing my paper, sister, because it'll be, you'll never find, it's not the paper. You've seen how it cuts out nice. It's the mat. I think I need to sharpen this pencil. Pretty dull. Jeff, what Christmas movies are we watching tonight? The Santa Claus? I thought that's what you wanted to do, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. We watched that one. Three. Santa Claus 1 and 2. Just labeling just in case they, you know, come out of line somehow. Oh, no, Linda. <laughs> I just hate the thought of spending that much time in cutting out intricate stuff and it ripping all of that. That's not right. Two. This was a super good idea, Jenny. My niece gave me a super good idea. This is way better than the foam and way less costly. <laughs> going to be gorgeous. This one should pick out more. Gonna be nice. Just perfect. 
I'm not going to glue it until I make sure these are all in order. This feels like a lot of... I don't know. It's missing so much right there. Oh, thank you, Jean. Yes, my birthday's Monday. So I'm going to take a break while this is cutting. I'm getting close to getting it done. Oh, I like fun. The Santa Claus with Tim Allen is hilarious. I love that movie. It's so funny. It's still not done. My husband cut me up cheese and sausage. I haven't eaten a thing today. <laughs> and he's bringing me crackers that my sister put in my 
gift bag. All of this was in there. These are called water crackers. Has anyone ever heard of water crackers? I don't even know what these are. <laughs> but they look delicious. Oh, nice and thin, just the way I like them. Cheese and crackers. Um... Hmm. I can't really determine what they taste like. Well. Did it do a better job? Hmm. Maybe it's just because of that. Look, here and here. But it looks like it's a better job. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. It might have done a better job. God help me get this off on a brand new clean mat. <sighs> Good, maybe I won't have to weed this sucker. Maybe the mat will pull it all off. That would be a blessing. blessing if I didn't have to do this. Sorry, I'm hungry. Okay. It cuts that out. Because it did it on this one too. Well, there is a way to care this mat. And I will do it as soon as I get this off. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're going to fix this mat up. It's way too sticky. Yeah, it cuts that off. So, the way to cure this... It, it's so sticky it is I'll show you you take it and you just rub it up against stick it onto your clothing and that's what she said if you're not too sticky do it that way there we go stick it one more time All right, I'm going to redo 11 now. I'm going to click on it. Nope, I think it's 10 I need to redo. Hang on. We did all the way up to nine. Yep, it's ten. Yep, you need to redo ten. Okay. So I've got a bit of weeding to do. See how it cuts it here? Not sure why. But I can't. I can't fret over that. But all these little pieces in here, oh my god, they're just ripped. Like I don't even know how to fix this. I'm going to cut it all. This was a total, total teeny tiny crap that just was too much, I think, for the machine to cut. Because look how it cut that. And it cut it like that on the other one, too. Didn't cut the chimney very good either. Damn it. Which. This is all sticky on the back. I have to fix it. Literally rip that. I can't get this to work. What a fucking mess.
even though I know it's not perfect. Okay, but we gotta get rid of some stickies on there. So where did I put my my dusting powder? Huh. That's a good question. Ah, where are you? Just some powder. There, there. Mm. Well, I'm going to have to use this one because I don't know where I put my powdery brush. Actually, I'll be here all day. do this it is definitely going to stick to the thing to the other one stick to it. What a disaster. Wait a minute.
seven, eight. Wow, oh, that's very seeable right there. How shitty is that? Oh well. Can't be helped. Hmm. I don't think I'll be making another one today. It is now 2.46. Oops. God, this is beautiful in the light. Wow. <laughs> Those icicles look weird. Look cool. These little tiny icicles. Oh my gosh. So cute. After this one are pretty they are just simple ones. Yep. This is the last long one. Eleven is just got a little something in it. Hmm. I don't know. I think they are in order, so I'm gonna start gluing them. Yes, I'm having OCD, but when it doesn't line up, then I don't like it. See those trees? Had to be lined up. There we go.
this is the one I already cut. And it's still ripped it in spots, but I'm leaving it. It's not as bad. single ounce of it. That's when I have to do this shit with. I'm weeding this whole freaking pine herb, this stupid tree. Very sticky mess. Okay. 
Hurry up, finish these last two. The other one is the last one is just a square. I don't know, this one's got some windows in it. But I am not looking forward to weeding all this. God, I hate this part. Like even the sticky mat didn't pull them off. You know what that means, right? They didn't cut. Oh boy, this one's sticky on the back too a bit. Every single tree has shit in it. Because I'm spending the rest of the evening weeding that stupid page. be different if it would have cut it all the way through then I wouldn't care I could just pop them out but they're snagged and a little piece of them are not cut so I have to try and break it with these this pick Disaster this is right here because I have no clue. Oh, it just ripped it. That's what it did.
pieces are sticking because it's kind of sticky on the back. not the fun part guys I promise you this is not the fun part is weeding this sucker Leave it alone. Okay. Powder it. Do you have to fix this though? Any powder even coming out of this thing? Ever living fucking mess. Man. Look at look at how it did this. Like that's frustrating. I'm about ready to give up. Oh well, last page come up, and it's just a square. Put this together and call it done.
Ooh, all right. Last page. Here you go. I love how it just rips these stars. Just does a ducky dog. Why is it doing this to me? Thank God I don't have to weed anymore. This is the last one. stars. Of course, it fucks up some fucking windows. Wow. It's getting worse. Look at what it does. Get out of here. A lot of the window panes are broken because instead of cutting it, it just scratched it across and crumpled it up. That's what this did. I'm making my own windows. I'm here to screw this right up too. stars are pretty bad <laughs> but is this the best it's gonna do good enough
Can't anything go right? No. Of course not. Uh oh. What happened here? You little turd. That one moved. House has to line up. Yep. You muted yourself. No, I didn't. Stupid ghost in here did. Oh, no sound. Really? No sound, Jeff? Oh, you're fine. I can hear you now. Oh. Oops. All right. Last page.
This one's going to be freaking gorgeous. Now, so let's see how we could do with these lights. Or I could make a yellow one. Go right on that star. But there's no light in the moon here, right here. So we'll just move this light here, underneath there. Let's see if it's in the moon now. Yep. All right, so. We take this because I don't want it to come out. And where's the yellow markers? Um, Need it again. Can you hear me now? Yep. Just did it again. You can mute now. Okay, there we go. There we go. I still kind of want this one moved a little bit more into the center there. And I kind of erased that with my finger, so I'll color it in again. There we go. All right, now I'm happy with that. Okay, so all the lights are stuck down. Somewhere right here. Okay. I will take a picture of this again. Just make sure I have it the right way up. Okay. Yeah. All right, I will take a picture of this in my room and show you guys. I don't want to wear those.
just wow. Look at this one. Looks like a little waterfall there. Wow. <clears throat> that turned out stunning. So that's it for today. I'm going. I'm going to relax. And tomorrow I'm going to make the fire truck. Because I really think the fire truck is going to be stunning. I'm going to go to the dollar store, I think, tomorrow and see if they have fairy lights. Because my niece buys hers, her fairy lights at the dollar store. And I could probably make a few more if I could get some fairy lights at the buck store. But that I don't know. So I'm just going to leave everything right here, right before tomorrow. I definitely need more coffee sticks. I mean, that's going to be enough for the fire truck, but not to do any other ones. So thank you, everybody. Have a blessed evening. I'm going to watch some Christmas movies with Jeff and Marie. And I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Bye, everyone.